Good afternoon. As promised, I am now doing a makeup look for a red dress. Okay. As you can see, the red lipstick that I put on earlier today is still there. It's very um it's a very good color. I'm just going to freshen it up a bit when I finish my look. So for the red dress, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like a coppery color, okay? So I have washed my face. I have used my moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and use my Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer for foundation. And a little bit of this goes a long way. All right, so I have the primer on. Now, just as I did before, I am going to start with my under eye circles. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Peach. Okay. And we're going to use our ring finger to pat that in. So there is my peach, which really covers up the, the dark under cycles really well. And then I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in yellow, okay? Just because I still have that ring. And this is supposed to help further with the color correcting of your under eye circles. And because my under eyes, you know, are dark all the way up to the eyelash, I actually pat it in all the way up to there, okay? And then once I'm done with that, I use my um, Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. And I go over it with this. And then I use the eraser for any hyperpigmentation I might have, like any dark spots. Okay, and then I will just pat that in. And now I'm ready for foundation. So with my foundation, we are going to use my 
CoverGirl Olay Advanced Radiance Liquid Foundation in Buff Beige. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to put it on. I put it on the back of my hand. And then I just pat it into my face. And I find that it has very, very good coverage. This is actually my favorite foundation that I have used for years. Now, if you wear glasses like I do, you have the option. You really don't have to put any product right there because that's where your glasses will touch your skin. And nine times out of ten, it rubs off your foundation. So, so there is my foundation. Now, a little trick that I learned from Hot and Flashy is that for your under your eyes now you're going to put a finishing powder all over okay but it's most important to put a finishing powder over your under eye concealers to set that okay So I'm using my Bye Bye Pores Illuminating Powder Finishing Powder, and I'm just going to go over that concealer to set it. So I have my foundation on. I'm going to put a little bit down here too. Next, I am going to work on my cheeks. So this is for a red dress. So what I am going to do is I am going to find a blush that has a little bit of an orangey tone to it, which is this one. I actually used it earlier, and I'm going to use that on my cheeks, but I'm going to use this darker color to contour, all right? So we're going to take this darker color. And we're going to put it right along our cheekbones. Cheekbone. That helps to carve out your face, especially if you're an overweight lady like I am. This will help define the cheekbones a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to go into this orangey color here, and I'm going to put it above, like the middle of my cheeks, and then up above the bronzer that I just put on there, okay? The contouring. And then, we're just going to blend that in. And then for a highlighter, I have 
this wet and wild. This is a highlighter palette from Wet n Wild. And we're just going to put a little bit right above your cheek color. Be careful not to put your highlighter on any of your fine lines because it will accentuate them. All right. So I'm carefully putting this highlighter here. I'm going to go above my eyebrows. And just kind of put it all over just for a little bit of a shimmery look. So those are my cheeks. Now for my lips. Of course, I did have this scarlet on from earlier. I'm just going to freshen that up a bit, okay? So it's a little bit more fresher and it'll go very nicely with the red dress. Now we're going to go into our eye colors. So I have this palette that I got recently because I saw it on. Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty. That is her channel. And this is number 04, Pure Passion from Milani. And it has beautiful, beautiful colors in it. It has a lot of bronzy colors. And some pinks. So I am going to... First of all, put down a, what they call a transition color, kind of like a base color. And there's a very light nude color in here, right here. And I'm just going to put this over my eyelashes, eyebrows, eyelids. That color alone is just so pretty. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to make sure it's clean. By using my little sponge here. To clean off my brush. We want to make sure we don't have any other colors on our brushes. That's a great way to ruin your palettes. I speak from experience. So what I am going to do, I have a very pretty goldish, copperish color right there. Okay. I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it on the inner portion of your eye, okay? I'm not going to put it all the way over because I'm going to be putting a different color over there, okay?
Then I'm going to take a darker color I'm going to take this darker color right underneath it. And now it's very difficult to see. And I'm going to put this on the outside. Of my lids. This is more of a matte color. Okay, this lighter color was like a shimmery color. And I'm going to put this color in my crease and bring it up to my brow bone. All right, so we've got like a light color here, a darker color here and a darker color there. Now I'm going to blend that in. So it's a very, very pretty palette. This palette is beautiful. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the shimmery color. Because I do want it to be noticeable. And I'm going to take that shimmer and I'm just going to put it along my eyelash. And there you go. So that's using copper colors, bronze colors on your eyes. For a red dress look. And then I've got a very, very pale pink right here. I'm going to take that color and put it right under my eyebrow. What a beautiful look. Do you agree? It's not quite as coppery as I was planning on doing it, but I think it's very pretty. There are some darker colors in here that I could have used, but I actually do like this color. Now, I do have a little bit of a darker brown here. If I want a little bit more of a contrast color on the outside and in the crease.
very, very nice. Now, I have a very light color right here. It's kind of like a nude color right there. And I'm just going to put this under my lower lash line to brighten up the eyes. I'm going to put a little bit out here and a little bit in here. And it brightens up your eyes very nicely. And there, and this is the Pure Passion Milani. Beautiful, beautiful colors. If you like coppery colors, bronzy colors, goldy colors, that's a beautiful, beautiful palette. And I believe it was only $10.99 on Amazon. So we're almost done. I'm going to put my mascara on. I've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is my absolute favorite. Mascara, I love the way it makes my eyelashes look. It has a nice little curve on it. So it helps to elongate your lashes and curl them. I don't use a eyelash curler. It's just personal preference. So I just use my mascara. Now for the finishing touch. I've got everything on my skin that I want. One thing I did not do, which I do suggest for anybody with a high forehead, take one of the dark contour colors, okay, in here, and just put it along your hairline. This will help to minimize a very wide, prominent forehead. Okay. And then also, you can put it under your chin. To try to minimize that. Heftiness right there. And then along your jawline. Now we're going to do our finishing touch. All right. It is always a good idea to set your makeup so that it will stay for a good length of time. So I'm going to use my Bye Bye Pores Luminous Setting Powder. And I'm just going to put this all over my face.
And there is the finishing touch. So now I am ready to go to a holiday party with some very pretty makeup. And I'm going to put my glasses on. And voila, there you go. That's my ring light kind of showing you how I did everything. And that is a very, very nice look for your red holiday dress. This is my red holiday dress. that I have. And there you go. I certainly hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me put the finishing touch to my make, to my lips. This gel will help set this lipstick again. It does last quite a long time, but you may have to touch it up from time to time. So there you go. There is my coppery bronze look for the holidays in a red dress. I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.